and not run it over. Because that would be bad. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Let's see if this person's looking where they're going. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, you would think it wouldn't be that hard to see me. I'm dressed like a traffic cone and I have a headlight that's visible from orbit. But, goddamn, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you would think it's fucking rocket science to get people to pay attention. Yeah, damn. I got real foggy. But yeah, TT, we're going to be getting Rain-X for our visors. I know you had to drive in the rain that one time and it scared the shit out of you. Because um, you couldn't see a goddamn thing. And... God damn it. Turn your fucking headlights on. Jesus Christ, people. It's, it's a really simple concept. It's like more, I mean, it's, the stupid part is it's like more than one in ten cars. It's, it's like one in three or one in five. Like, how the fuck did you not learn this in driver's education? I mean, there are some states where it's a law. Like, if, if it's raining or, like, if your headlights or if your uh, windshield wipers are on, your headlights are required to be on. And... I just don't understand how people don't learn that shit. Like, it has nothing to do with you being able to see. I can see fine without my headlight on. It's about other people being able to see your stupid ass because the weather is shit. See, same thing. Turn your fucking headlights on. You're in a white goddamn car driving through fog with no fucking headlights on. I didn't see you until you were like 200 yards away. Wrote a really funny sign. Like, it was not a bumper sticker, but it was that kind of thing of, you can educate in ignorance, but you can't fix stupid. And it's just so goddamn true, I can't even express. <laughs> it makes me wonder if they go through the day just like wondering why um, everyone keeps pulling out in front of them. Maybe it's because they can't fucking see you, jackass. Hopefully I'm not going too slow for these cars that are behind me, but... I don't think they're quite realizing how shitty the visibility is up here. Because it really is bad. Like, let's see, I know there's a stoplight up here. Like, I know that it's here, because here it is. Still can't see it. Still can't see it. There it is. Fuck. I'm just gonna keep saying it. Like, it's the most irritating thing. Like, how the fuck do you not turn your goddamn headlights on when visibility is this shitty? All these other people figured it out. That just, like, this fucking car in the lead here. I can see everybody else. And then the fucking Jeep is just, like, a blank space. Here comes another one. Why is it all the Jeeps? <laughs> That's an interesting, like, sociological little experiment. Like, why are all the Jeeps the ones driving with their headlights off? Where is this guy going? What's up? What that? Scrambler. Scrambler, that's what Yeah. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. I like it when the tires do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's basically a Bonneville, just better suspension. So. Oh, yeah. You too. You were close. It's it's not a Rambler. It's a Scrambler. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Yeah. Yes, they are very fun bikes, as a matter of fact. The only problem I'm having right now is I have my the collar of my raincoat is so tall... Which is great, because it keeps the wind off my neck and out of my helmet. But I can't turn my fucking head. <laughs> it's, it's like, that's all I get. 
<laughs> and there they are. There's the one person with no fucking headlights on. And they're in a Jeep. God damn it. What, what's the deal, Jeep? Do, do your people just not know how to operate their lights? Is, is that what it is? You know what? If you're going to sit that fucking close to me, you can go right around there, buddy. Because you're a fucking idiot. You're going to sit right on my fucking ass in fog that you can't see a hundred yards. Because you're going to have a fucking wreck and I am not going to be a part of it. I mean, like, there's my brights, but you see how fucking bright that light is? Not helpful. Not helpful at all. Yeah. Fog lights on a bike, probably not our thing. God damn, I, like, I should be able to see the house. And I can't see the fucking... There's their mailbox, holy shit. Alright, let's not miss my turn. <laughs> there it is. It's <laughs> fucking 15 feet away from it before I could see it. <laughs> God damn it. That's the thing, like, no matter how good you might feel running, you, you pretty much always look like you're about to die when you're running hard or anything. You're, you're just like, fuck. Uh, which I'm going to have the chance to have a lot of pictures like that here recent, here soon because TT and I are going to be doing a half marathon together. So that'll be, you know, two and a half to three hours worth of fuck. <laughs> I have to be a little careful through here because it's only 35, but the nice thing is there's people like this to attract all the cops. All right. So I came up to Woodland Park. I'm going to do another loop through Cripple Creek just because it's a beautiful day and it's one of the, probably going to be one of the last good days of the riding that I can get this season. And look at what I've ran into. <laughs> and this thing started life as a moto goozy. That's awesome. Thanks for letting me look at it. That's, that's just a cool idea. Oh wow, that's great, have a good one. So what he was saying was, so it was a Moto Guzzi, and at about 95,000 miles, they took the rear end <laughs> off of a Toyota minivan and used that axle to turn that into a tricycle. And the reason they did it is because the gear ratios between the bike and, a mini and the minivan were the same. So they didn't have to change anything. It was a drop-in replacement in terms of making the transmission and everything work. <laughs> Made sure the, tire, the tires were the same size, the whole thing. It was just a drop-in. They did that like 2,500 miles ago. <laughs> Things going strong. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> Also, I will most likely end up on Google Maps in uh, Manitou Springs for the street view because the street view guy drove by while I was sitting at an intersection and I actually got a thumbs up from the street view driver, so I got a pretty big kick out of that. He liked the bike. Nice old bike. My lord. <laughs> <laughs> lordy, lordy, lordy. He, he, the, the motorcycle's license plate is my lord, and it has a Jesus is Lord um, license plate bracket. Which is probably why he doesn't wear a helmet, because, you know, he's putting his life in God's hands. <laughs> I'm going to hell for that. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> if you haven't seen that meme, I'm, I'm putting that on the video when I do this. But but yeah, y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> Wish TT was up here with me. But she just finished doing midterms. 
So she's probably asleep right now <laughs> to try and recover from the trauma. God, I'm not even riding right now. I'm sailing. <laughs> I'm having to like tack into the wind. Holy hell. That's a new one. Nice Mercedes. That was an expensive Mercedes too, but unfortunately it was an old lady gold. That is a good point that TT made in that video though. Like, what is the deal with that shade of gold and like people over 65? Like, is it is it just part of the club? Like you get your AARP membership and then Congratulations, you get an additional 25% off if you buy an ugly-ass gold car. <laughs> I don't fucking get it. There's Kerbal Creek. Oh my god, dude. I can see him looking at his fucking phone. Like, seriously? You're driving through some of the most beautiful country on the planet. I mean, and you're going to stare at your phone. It's not going to tell you anything. You have no other directions to go. You have to go straight. It's like Ray Charles. Man, I can't see shit. <laughs> 